Hello guys, um, I know this video is a bit late, I planned to put this out on Monday, but now it's Wednesday, but it's still an important video that I believe I have to make. Um, I just want to discuss what has happened in this world, uh, in, especially in, in the m metal, you know, world, the metal universe, as you would say, in the past uh, week or two. So, uh, let me just get right down to business. And, uh, for the Paris attacks, I'm just gonna play some Trust, because French metal is fucking awesome, and it's sung in French. So, there you go. So, yeah, we're talking about the Paris attacks. I was, I was working, um, I do, uh, Boys and Girls Club, uh, in my area. So, I was out to Boys and Girls Club, uh, with my girlfriend and stuff, and we were having a fun time. Playing around with the kids, you know, looking after shit. So, that's fun, Dandy. And in the middle of nowhere, she comes over and tells me, uh, apparently there was an attack in France, and she said it was at a, at a metal festival at first, I think. And that's, I think that's what the media, I, don't know, I can't remember what was being said, but uh, I first I heard it as it was at a metal festival, I immediately thought Hellfest, and I'm like, great, fucking Hellfest getting attacked now, uh, there's gonna be a lot of changes to festival uh, rules and stuff. But you know, nobody wants that. Nobody wants to see a festival uh, have huge security where you have to have bags searched all the time and shit like that. So I was like, great. But then I realized um, when we got back to the house, I checked in, uh, checked the, the news uh, articles about it. And it was Eagles of Death Metal. Now Eagles of Death Metal are a band that I've known for a, a good while, ever since I've known uh, Queens of the Stone Age and shit like that. And Eagles of Death Metal are a great band. Uh, the guys in the band, like Jesse Hughes, I know he he is a really cool guy. I've seen uh, work of his, like in, he's done a documentary or two, and he's just a really awesome guy. And Josh Hame, obviously, or Hame, whatever people, whatever whatever way you pronounce his last name, he's just an awesome guy as well. He's a he's a really good musician and stuff. So yeah, to see a band like that being tied up and it was really shit, and then to realize it wasn't just at the Battle Clan that these attacks were um, took note. It was more. It was all over for, uh, Paris. So, just to see that is fucking insane. And uh, I posted ADX, um, the French speed metal band. I posted uh, two of their demos on here, as I said. Well, I, I always have full albums, a full f a file of full albums that I can upload at any time. And they were the French band. That they were, I think they were the only French band there. So I said, fucking, I'm uploading French metal. Uh, because France, you know, I think France should be getting a lot of attention. But same thing with all these other countries, uh, Lebanon, and I can't even remember all, the na all these places that have had uh, tragedy, Mexico, and stuff like that. So, I think every place in the world should be getting attention. I, don't, I didn't change my profile on Facebook to the French flag, because I just thought, like, if I could change change uh, the profile to just, like, you know, send your thoughts out to everyone in this world who's had tragic shit happen to them, who've had family members die. So yeah, with the, with the Paris attacks, to see, um, you know, the merch manager, uh, Nick Unig Alexander, um, uh, he was, he was a death metal merch manager, but he's also, uh, from what I've seen, he was friends with a lot of people in the music industry, he had worked for a lot of famous bands, Alice in Chains, uh, I believe the, uh, one of the members of Black Keys that spoke about him and stuff, and just to see, like, that somebody that close to the band actually died is just insane. Luckily the band made it out, but to see 129 people killed and over 350 injured is fucking nuts. And to see 89 people that died, that died in the theater itself, you know, um, you, you see pictures of the, the actual um, scene of, what, of where it happened and you look and there's just dead bodies strewn across a concert hall. And to me, that's just insane. Like, I don't know. I, I can't really ex explain why the fuck this shit happens. It's a, such a tight knit, like, religious and political, like, you know, contradiction where it's politics and religion and just extremism all the way. So, yeah. And also, I've seen a pastor talking about uh, people who go to a death metal concert uh, are looking for death. And looking to die, and I'm just like, fuck off. Like, you know, at, at, at this time right now, you're gonna start talking that shit? Fuck right off. If you're, if you're a religious person, I understand, like, 
You might not like the music that, that, that like metalheads listen to, but don't fucking look at us and say we deserve to die because we listen to certain music. And I know it's only like extreme idiot Christians, but it's even still, just fuck right off. So yeah, I like I said, for Paris, uh, to see the Eagles of Death Metal have this shit happen at their concerts, fucking insane. To see it happen at Pit in Paris at all is fucking insane. So I just hope that Paris gets back to normal and hopefully the world can realize a way to deal with these fucking terrorists. So, moving on to Goodbye to Gravity, what happened with them recently. Now, Goodbye to Gravity are a band that I'm not a really big fan of. Like, I have one of their songs playing in the background. Like, I'm not really a big fan of their style. But, um, they had a new album out called uh, Mantras, of, uh, Mantras of War. And they had a release party for that on October 30th. And, you know, this band is a band, like, that a lot of people knew about it if they were really from the country that these guys are from. And in the metalcore scene, I think these guys have a bit of popularity. Uh, but the band had fireworks, uh, like, set off at their uh, release show. And it just wasn't set up right. And it was almost like what happened with Great White back in the early 2000s where it just set up a fire, and because of the, the, of the shit used in the, in the club to, uh, you know, isolate the sound and stuff, the whole place caught a blaze. Now, 56 people have died so far from this. I don't know how many more will die. Uh, the vocalist and bassist and drummer were all hospitalized, and the guitar, two guitarists were killed on scene. They were, they were just gone. And I believe the drummer has now died. Uh, and, well, he died on the way to a hospital in, in, in on November eighth. And um, I believe the bassist has now died. I believe the only surviving member is the vocalist, as far as I can remember. Which is fucking terrible to see a band go from five members down to one and then have to break up. You know, it's fucking insane. And, you know, it's just, it's just terrible to see all this shit happen. I hope their new album gets a lot of sales, because apparently all the proceeds from this album will go to the victims of the fire, which I hope this album sells a shit ton now. But yeah, these guys are a good band, uh, they're from, they're, they're good for their genre, and I'm not a huge fan of the band, but, you know, they were, they had such a terrible... Uh, end to the band, like, they could have just broke up, like, any, any other fucking band would, but, no, well, then you look at uh, the incident last year where, where, um, or was, I don't know how long ago this was, but it was the, the accident where, um, the two bands were in a van accident, and I believe nine members of, the, of each band, like, nine members died, or nine people in general, I'm just like, fuck, like, this, people dying in big groups like this, is getting, it's getting really bad to the point where I'm just like, you know, we're we're to is too nowadays. There's so many bands on the go. It's not even like the '70s and stuff in the '80s, where if you had a band, you weren't touring all around like a country. You were touring, you were playing five or six shows in one local area. So you see these bands now, like you might have seen like a Leonard Skinner or a fucking Randy Rhodes like accident or something where somebody will fuck up and die, but like. Now it seems like almost every few weeks there's some kind of crazy incident where a band has either one or two more members of their band die. Uh, it's just terrible to see. I put my th I'm sending my thoughts out to those guys up from Good Boy Gravity, the lead singer who is still alive. Hopefully he survives this and he gets out of hospital fine if he's not already out. So yeah, you know, I hope everything goes okay with these guys and. The, me the members of the band who are deceased will be honored correctly, and I hope that the, the rest of the people who died, that they get peace, because this is just terrible incident, and it's just sad to see all this shit go down to a band that is in the metal scene, even though people don't call it metalcore metal, come on, like, you gotta give these guys a bit of, like, sympathy, at, at least in this time, so... So, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Like, I've, I've watched this happen. I, I watched it go from two members one day to three members and thinking, that's fucking insane. And now four members out of a five-member band. 
just terrible. And now they're broken up. Uh, obviously, they would break up, but you know, but it's kind of obvious they'd break up because I knew they were breaking up anyways when they when I was like pretty sure they were going to break up when they lost the two guitars. But yeah, I hope that this doesn't happen again and regulations come in where they can't use this stupid fucking foam they use in these goddamn venues and they can't use fireworks in these venues. So yeah. So yeah, this is the part about Filthy Animal Taylor, one of my favorite drummers of all time. Now, obviously Filthy was in the band for a long time. He was on the On Parole album, the Motorhead album, the Overkill album, the Bomber album, Ace of Spades, No Sleep Till Hammersmith, Iron Fist, Another Perfect Day, Rock and Roll 1916, and March of Die. So, almost all the classic material from uh, the 80s he played drum and the 70s he played drums on. And the two and two classic albums from the 90s. And just to see him be gone at this age is just like fucking insane. And like looking at it, I, just looking at it is what he's done besides Motorhead. It's just really strange to see. He did, he never done much after he left Motorhead. He didn't do anything. And he even said like. Why, like, I, no, I just don't do anything, I never, nobody asked me to, to be in anything, and I just don't want to be out of anything, I, I guess, I think he wanted to be in a band, I guess, but I guess he just never had, uh, the opportunities, I guess, so it's just really, uh, like, it's just really terrible to see that that's how he, like, left this world, not having anybody play, to play gigs or anything, so yeah, and then Wurzel died, Wurzel, their guitarist for years died, uh, 2011, so that's tragic as well, but apparently Phil died of liver failure, as a lot of, like, you know, musicians do, but, you know, Phil was always, always a funny guy, and I, I watched the interview that he done with Sam Dunder, the day that uh, Phil died, I was watching it, and I'm like, this is a fucking hilarious interview, like, I was, I was, like, hackling my ass off at it, and then at the end of the video, it said, rest in peace, Phil Taylor, and I was like, the fuck are you talking about, I said, there's no way. So I went on the Metal Archives, that's usually where I go, it was just really quick to do it there, I go Metal Archives, Rest in Peace uh, section, and sure enough there's Phil Taylor, uh, on top of the list, and I'm like, holy fuck, just to think that one of my favorite drummers of all time, one of my biggest influences in drumming, is dead, and just really, just a shitty thing, and then to have the Paris attacks happen the 13th, and uh, Goodbye to Gravity, uh, incident happened on October 30th, so, yeah, in the past three weeks we've had some of the worst tragedies I think I've ever seen in, um, in, me in like, metal, like, I don't even know, we've had two tragedies happened in the rock and metal world, and then we've had just another sad event with Phil Taylor dying, and, you know, the only thing I can see is, like, we had events like The Great White, thing that happened back in 2003, which was just tragic and shit, because that was the same kind of, that's a similar thing that happened to, um, that happened to, uh, Goodbye to Gravity recently, like, that's what, uh, happened to them, they had a big fire, and that's how that happened, they, they were setting off, uh, fireworks or whatever, and the pyrotechnics just fucked up and created a giant goddamn, like, it was foam, the exact same foam. The, the foam is always what sets the, these, these things alight. And 100 people died in, in the Great White uh, Fire that happened back in 2003. And one of the members who died, one of the band members died, was the guitarist. So, so, that's like the fucking goodbye to gravity. Four members are gone. So, it's just insane. And Eagles of Death Metal. Their merch manager died, and I just think like they're lucky to be alive too because they could have been, they could have been up on stage not hearing the gunshots before the gunmen were already in there, and they were standing up on stage. The gunman could just turn the gun up onto the stage and shot, and just you know pull the gun right across the stage and killed all of them. So, it thinks that from now on, I think people should realize that these events in which all these terrible sh uh, uh, incidents happen in the metal world, we should always realize that no matter how much terrible shit happens in the world around us, as in like all the tragedies that have happened in 
Lebanon, Mexico, Paris, and all these other places. And that shit is always there. We should always focus on it. But it just hurts us a little bit more when shit like Go by the Gravity is instant. In fact, the Paris attacks uh, had its greatest death toll at a concert in rock. It's just fucking terrible. It just makes you kind of realize that the world isn't what it used to be, I guess. Some, a lot of people say that, but, you know. At this point, I think it's time for people to realize that if we're going to make change in this world, we're going to have to take the initiative to do it ourselves, and I hope that from now on we see a lot more, you know, good coming out of this world instead of just people killing each other because they can. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. I'm not gonna monetize this video because I'm not gonna fucking profit off of, or well I don't profit off of YouTube anyways, but I'm not gonna profit off some goddamn terrible events that, you know, should have never happened and hopefully don't, stuff like this will never happen again. So yeah, peace the fuck out guys and uh, try to keep your heads up.